Located in Muskoka, Ontario, the inn was originally a Victorian private residence built in the mid-1870s. In 1880, William C. Mahaffey, a district judge, purchased the property which became his home. Him and his family became a big part of the social and economic history of Muskoka. In 1943, the home was converted into an inn and has undergone extensive renovations. The inn is now home to numerous ghosts, three of whom are known as Charlie, Sarah, and Bob. There's a woman in a blue dress that many guests claim to see as soon as they walk into the inn for the first time, as well as a phantom dog, which visits room 105 on occasion. There was also a woman named Jackie Neven, who died of cancer inside of the inn, so people say her spirit still lingers there. In the 1980s, an office manager named Kathy saw Jackie's ghost. She said that she saw a woman suddenly appear in the doorway with shoulder-length brown hair. She looked to be in her 40s, and she stared at her until she vanished into thin air. Room 105 is the most haunted room in the entire hotel. People are frequently visited by a woman who likes to sit in the chair by the window. People also say that if you stand outside the inn and look up at the window, you can sometimes see her looking back at you. A paranormal investigator stayed in room 105 and claimed to see a woman's face reflecting in the middle of the black TV screen. She had an eerie smile planted on her face. When he turned around, nothing was there. There were also many reports of guests hearing the sound of children giggling and running around the room. They've also felt the children climb into bed with them during the early hours of the morning. There's a quote that leaves many people unsettled. It says, This place has a mind of its own. If it doesn't like you, your stay won't be long. Over the next three days, you'll see the footage from our paranormal investigation. Trust me, you won't believe what you're about to see. Hey guys, it's Jessie Lee, and we are currently on our way to the haunted hotel that I told you guys about. And in the back seat, we have Kat Hello. and Mandy. Hi. And we're all very excited but scared at the same time. We have Ty as our driver. And yeah, we're just on our way and we're gonna meet Brittany there. And I guess I will update you guys when we reach the hotel. It's gonna be super scary. Okay, ready, set, go. Hey guys, so we're finally at the Inn at the Falls. I'm here with Brittany44. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! Mandy! Hi! And Jonathan! Hey, what's up? And we're about to go explore the scary hotel. So please, I hope we're gonna be okay. Oh I'm my so god. I'm oh so god. nervous. Gonna happen. We're gonna see something. I we're swear. We're gonna see something. <laughs> Brittany might sure. fall down the stairs or be pushed by me. Pushed down the stairs by Jesse. Push <laughs> by me. <laughs> Better be careful, okay? <laughs> All right, let's go. So we were so freaked out because when we arrived, the power went out right away. So we don't know why that happens, but I asked the front desk lady if it happens often and she said no. So I don't know. Something about our presence being there, the ghosts are like ready for us. See? Let's do this. Maybe she was up my camera now. <laughs> I have the same picture of this little girl in our room. Yeah, it freaked me out when we walked in. Well, maybe not the same picture, but definitely. It was the first thing we saw when we got here. And then Brittany and Jonathan were right up there waiting for us. And the <laughs> Just standing there like ghosts. Are out. Okay, you want to follow us around? <laughs> Let's go. Yes. Yeah, it should be. I'm going to change it tonight. So we're going to our room right now. <laughs> I'm just posing. It's scary us. This is where the woman cries. Yep. And, so and knocks on the windows. Yes. Or not the windows, the doors. Yeah. As you can see, the power is out. <laughs> so this is Brittany's room, Brittany and Jonathan's room. And this one over here is ours. I'm in the John. We're in the John B room. You guys are Will? The John B room? William Mullock? Mulek? William Mullock. Oh. Check out their room. Oh, wait, where are Brittany and Jonathan. Oh, guys, I brought Advil. Like, if, I'll show you. Like, if anyone gets headaches, did you know, like, people get headaches with paranormal stuff? And, like, oh, really? Oh. Okay, you're prepared. I'm prepared, yeah. <laughs> Explain. Oh, <gasps> what? So there are seven ladybugs. In case anyone doesn't already know, <laughs> that's actually a really good amount to see, especially seven. It's a it's a spirit animal. That's it, awesome. They're good for protection. So especially what we're mm. doing tonight. Here's the spirit box. <gasps> it's so tiny. I thought it'd be bigger. Yeah, it's so tiny. This is my original one. Sorry, there's like tape on the back. <laughs> <laughs> spirit box. 
that's all good. Our communication device. It makes it like really loud. Oh, good. So, like, Jesse, like, really loud. Good. Like, do the sound song. It's like, we just like yell. Like, is anybody yeah. here? Yeah. Yeah. So they say, like, basically, the spirit box, it just channels all these radio frequencies and the mm -hmm. spirit uses. It's just a theory, though. Yeah. But it's just the responses that we've gotten in the past, they answer direct questions. Like, that's to our crazy. Questions. Like, yeah. I can't even, like, we went to Eastern State Penitentiary and it was just like, I couldn't believe the responses. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm so like, excited. we're gonna get responses. Yeah. We will. We will. I know we will. So, this is our bedroom that we're staying in. Once again, the creepy, like, painting thing on the wall of that little girl. I think it's the same one. I'm not too sure, but we have massive windows here and a TV and the cat. <laughs> the cat. <laughs> The bathroom. Can you film me sitting on this? That sink has already been acting up. It's really weird. Mm -hmm. It's super hot in here. It's very hot. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's definitely the sun coming in. So I just sat in the chair here, and this is the chair where they say that a lot of people have reported a woman sitting in this chair, looking out the window, or just pacing back and forth and coming eventually to come and sit here just to disappear or stare out a window. Some guy came in one day and saw somebody sitting here and he actually thought that there was a woman in his room so he left, he was like, I'm so sorry, excuse me. But then he realized that it was his room and he came back in and she was gone. So I just took a seat, I'm gonna do it again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I just took a seat. There's a ladybug on the floor. <gasps> oh yeah, that, mean, that means that we're protected. It's a good sign. Yeah. Um, I just sat here and I immediately felt so much pressure. Like it feels hard, like almost hard to breathe. That's so like weird. Like there's a lot of pressure in my chest. So I just feel like this isn't my spot and I'm like invading mm -hmm. this chair because it's hers. Because she usually I sits there. I it. <laughs> I'm like shaking. Oh my God. Can we open a window? Yeah, this one opens. It's open, yeah, because it's, it's getting like way too hot in here it's right just now. Way too hot. Kat just pointed out that um, there's a little like step thing here to get up on the bed, and it's creepy because so many guests say that like children climb into bed with them at night in this room, so it's like they have this little ladder to like get up on the bed. Like, what other reason would it really be there? For? Exactly, because like we can easily get on this bed. <laughs> We're not that short. <laughs> Yeah, so it's weird how they have this here, almost like it's for the kids. Mm -hmm. So. Found two more ladybugs. So we have three now. Yeah, Jonathan was just saying that ladybugs are a good sign. It's good luck and protection, so it's a good and thing I they have those. I actually found, just found another one. There's one on the window there. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's another one there, too. Yeah, three, there's tons four, over five. here, so we're, we're good. <laughs> We're good. All right, you guys, so there is a woman. We are in room 105 right now. There's a woman who sits in this chair. And at 6 a.m., I believe I read it was 6 a.m. and you can yeah, it's 6 a.m. <laughs> There's a woman that, um, she walks back and forth and she comes to the window, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna sit in this chair and just see if I feel People wake up and they see her sitting here. Isn't that so crazy? It's really crazy. I don't like, though, how it faces the bed. I know. Like yeah, it's there. like she's watching the people sleeping. Well, like they say that she looks out the window, but it faces the bed, which is kind Ooh, of strange. Think, yeah. Well, she could look up. She could look at the window and look at the bed. I, as soon as I sat there. I feel that under my feet right now. Like, uh, yeah, it's creepy. And I, I heard that um, people usually see the ghosts when they're sleeping. Mm -hmm. Girl, we aren't sleeping. <laughs> we can <laughs> pretend. Oh my god, maybe we should do that. Pretend, we pretend we're sleeping and see if that. Yeah. Great. Now they heard us. Oh, true. We're talking right amongst them. <laughs> oh, have you, do you guys almost sit in the chair? I already I'm sat. In the I don't know what camera to look at. I think it's my video over here, but I'm just like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> We're the paparazzi. <laughs> I, know, I love we it. We are paparazzi. I love it. How does it feel? I don't feel well. I don't know. I think at nighttime. Jonathan's gonna sit. Do you want me to film you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we have decided to move the chair. Facing away from the window? Just facing away from the from the okay. bed, yeah. really. Yeah, yeah, but she, they, they say that she likes to look Motion. out of the window. That's like the main thing that she does. So we want to put the chair facing away from the window to okay. see if maybe she would, I don't know, move it back or maybe she, that would maybe upset her a little bit. I don't know. We'll, yeah. we'll leave it and we'll see. So let's okay. let's move the... So which way should I move the chair? Should that I make way. it facing this that way? way. She's gonna get angry. Hey, well, we're documenting this, so. 
This is gonna be crazy. This is stressing me out. My heart is like, I don't know, it could just be, you know what I mean? Excitement. Oh, yeah. The chair has been moved. Is this Maybe good? turn it a little bit more because she could still look out that window. <laughs> <laughs> she can't look out any windows. It's not allowed. Okay. Chair has been moved. So if she, okay, okay this is where it's gonna be. Mm hmm. Ooh, I just got like chills. I know, Me I just too. felt that too. It coming from the yeah, door. Yeah, yeah. That was weird. You felt that too? What if she just ran in to like move it back? She might have just run it. Imagine if I just felt like the chair come this way at me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. What was that like whoosh? That I was feel weird. So much it's, over here. Do you guys feel make it is it almost like threatening? Do you guys think? Yeah, I do not feel good right now. I don't feel good either. Yeah. So we just felt something like came in. It definitely like came out of here. Guys, I'm so happy that we have the entire place to ourselves. I know. The entire like, place. Like it's just like it's it was incredible. meant to be. Yeah. We found a hole in the wall that Kat is looking into. Oh, there's a spider web like in Oh there. my dear lord, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> my okay, knees wait, hurt. There's nothing in there. There's a newspaper but Bring it's not the light like super mm -hmm. close. There's a newspaper, but it's not interesting. Okay, so update. Kat and I literally just saw a ghost. <laughs> We just asked if the judge, who's over there, could turn on the lights for us, and he just did. He just did. He just did. When you're here alone, and there's people walking around upstairs. We're gonna go upstairs because we heard something up there. It was like walking, like twice. It was like thumping walking. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Jesse, Jesse, what is it? What? What's up? Jesse, your door closed? <laughs> the door just started moving on its own. Are you serious? 